Hello. This is a lesson on suffixes to form nouns, that is, noun forming suffixes. Let me first assume that you've already had some general information on suffixes to form nouns. Nouns from adjectives, verbs, nouns. Ness. Happy, happiness. It. Possible, possibility. Shen. Inform, information. Shen. Admit, admission. Ment. Enjoy, enjoyment. Ens. Independent, independence. Important, importance. Admit, admittance. Exist, existence. Ship. Member, membership. Hood. Neighbor, neighborhood. Well, let's practice. Read the following words. Identify if they are adjectives or verbs, then choose the right suffix to form nouns. Choose the suffix to form nouns. Weak. Weakness. Tidy. Tidiness. Responsible. Responsibility. Probable. Probability. Decide. Decision. Describe. Description. Alter. Alteration. Appoint. Appointment. Arrange. Arrangement. Partner. Partnership. Relation. Relationship. Child. Childhood. Mother. Motherhood. Perfect. The next task for you is to read the text. Pay attention to the words in bold. Choose the right suffix to fit the context. Air travel. International travel requires passing through airports and can be challenging. Making a reservation is mostly done online nowadays. The sitting is first come, first served, and it is important to plan early. On the day of your trip, you should plan an early arrival to the airport. You should be there at least two hours before the departure of an international flight. Process checking in can be very long. An agent will ask you to show your identification. A security agent will ask you a few questions about the contents of your baggage. Then they will permit your entrance into the secure area of the airport. Another agent will announce the 
boarding of the aircraft. At that time, you walk down a long passage to the door of the airplane. Great! I'm sure that was easy. Well, today I'll explain you how to choose the right suffix out of several similar suffixes. Well, there are some noun-forming suffixes. These are suffixes to form nouns, but choosing between them may present some difficulty even for native speakers of English. OK, there are no rules that could help us choose between the suffixes. The right suffix can be only memorized by practicing the words. I've arranged some words with these suffixes for you in two columns. Read the words, say them aloud, and write down them often for easier memorization. Suffix ends. Elegance, elegantnost. Endurance, выносливость. Expectance, ожидание. Significance, значение, важность. Suffix ancy. Expectancy, ожидание. Inhabitancy, проживание. Occupancy, заполнение. Suffix ends. Absence, отсутствие. Emergence, появление. Occurrence, явление. Preference, предпочтение. Reference, связь, ссылка. Sequence, последовательность. Suffix NC. Currency, денежное обращение. Emergency, критическая ситуация. Fluency, беглость. Frequency, частота. Urgency, безотлагательность. I recommend you to arrange these words in two columns on a page. Say them aloud, write them over and over to memorize. Now let's move on to the next group of suffixes. Nouns with AC, C. Accuracy, точность. Delicacy, тонкость. Illiteracy, неграмотность. Intricacy, запутанность. Legacy, наследие. Literacy, грамотность. Privacy, уединение. Prophecy, пророчество. Suffix C в существительных. Controversy – разногласие. Courtesy – любезность. Hypocrisy – лицемерие. Jealousy – ревность, зависть. Well, the next group of suffixes is ER, OR. Generally, the words with these suffixes indicate jobs, occupations, or professions. But other meanings are quite possible. For example, a villager, житель деревни, or a northerner, северянин. Not all ER OR suffixes at the end of nouns are suffixes. In some words, they are final parts of words and denote process, 
state. In some other words, they do not have any particular meaning. For example, dinner, hunger, reminder, border, brother, finger, error, horror. Well, there are no rules that could help us choose between final OR or ER. The best way to master them is to practice the words. Look at the following examples. ER – существительных. Babysitter – приходящая няня. Border – граница. Carrier – перевозчик. Customer – клиент, покупатель. Dancer – танцовщик, танцовщица. Defender – защитник. Explorer – исследователь местности. Hunter – охотник. Interpreter – истолкователь. Jeweler – ювелир. Lawyer – юрист, адвокат. Manager – управляющий. Painter – художник, малер. Plumber – слесарь, сантехник. Prisoner – заключенный, пленник. Researcher – исследователь. Retailer – розничный торговец. Robber – грабитель. Разбойник. OR в существительных. Ancestor – предок. Conqueror – завоеватель. Contractor – подрядчик. Editor – редактор. Elevator – лифт. Governor – правитель. Губернатор. Индикатор. Указатель, индикатор. Инвентор. Изобретатель. Инвестор. Вкладчик, инвестор. Протектор. Защитник. Сейла. Моряк. Супервайзер. Смотритель, инспектор. Survivor – оставшийся в живых. Tutor – наставник, учитель. Well, grammar rules give us the ground to communicate clearly and effectively. Now it's time to practice. Read the sentences and follow the example. Choose the right suffix to form the noun. Focusing on the action. Example. It's indispensable to supervise aircraft checks. The supervision of aircraft is indispensable. It's important to maintain an airplane. The maintenance is important. It's necessary to inspect the engines. The inspection of engines is necessary. It's desirable to employ good technicians. The employment of good technicians is desirable. It's essential to transport passengers safely. The safe transportation of passengers is essential. It's dangerous for any part of the airplane to fail. The failure of any part of the airplane is dangerous. It's required to approve all work on the aircraft. 
the approval of all work on the aircraft is required. It's logical to require safety updates. The requirement for safety updates is logical. Did you get the idea? Excellent! Today you mastered the noun-forming suffixes and practiced using them. I liked your work very much. Thank you and good luck in your English studies.